Hello everyone. In continuation with the linear algebra, I'll be dealing here with the topic or with the concept of rank of a matrix. By the end of the session, you'll be able to define and understand the concept of rank of a matrix and identify and understand the properties of rank of a matrix. Okay. Now, uh, there are two concepts of rank of uh, the definition, uh, but it is not uh, difficult most of the time. What is rank? What is rank? I'll, I'm defining my rank as in one line. Uh, these are all the, uh, the book's definitions. Let me just talk about this. This is what is the definition I have just um, uh, formed as the order of highest order non-zero determinant is the rank. Rank is the order of highest order non-zero determinant. Now the rank uh, as per the book it has been given to you as a column rank also it's been given to you as a rank row rank as well the definition goes as the column rank of a, a is the maximum number of linearly independent column vectors of capital a that means what we have to find out the maximum number of linearly independent column vectors it's known as a column rank and if it is a row, row then we have to find out the number of linearly independent row vectors i mean uh, this is what is the definition as per the book. But in linear algebra, column and a row rank is always known as rank only. So there is no common uh, row, column or a uh, rank. It's a rank, rank of a matrix. And the rank of a cap uh, matrix, capital A, is commonly denoted as rank of A. Or most of the books are also using this as small, uh, I mean, row of uh, capital A. And uh, most of the time it has been denoted as, as a small r as well. So it's also a notation, one of the notation as a rank. Let us, uh, instead of, uh, as I'm, I'm dealing here with the uh, approach of the concepts, then the rank you just remember as one, that is the order of highest order non-zero determinant. So every time I'm just repeating this, order of highest order non-zero determinant. So. The question is, this is the question from the gate examination from the paper 2003. And this is for one mark, right? Now, the question is, what is the rank of this A? This A is, what is the order of this matrix? It's the, the three rows are there and the four columns are there. So three by four is the order of this matrix. And the, the, the possibilities are one, two, three, or four, four. We have to find out the rank of the matrix. As I have given you the, the, uh, definition order of highest order non-zero determinant so now if i'll observe here it's it's got three cross four three cross four so in this in this case here so three cross four what is the highest order of non-zero determinant so what is the order highest order determinant over here is it three cross three or four cross four is it possible to have this uh, four cross four determinant over here because the four cross four did four cross four matrix, I should have four rows and four columns. But whereas I have got only one, two, and three rows, and one, two, three, and four columns over here. So what is the highest order non-zero determinant? Determinant would be three cross three. So what is my possibility of having the rank of a matrix is three? Because I'm saying it's order of highest order non-zero determinant. Purposely I'm repeating this. So by the end of this uh, session, you will be able to remember or memorize order of highest order non-zero determinant is the rank. And therefore, what is my approach? My approach is first I'm, I'm just deciding it. What is my highest order non-zero, highest order determinant in this matrix is three. So my highest order determinant, so possibility is from three. It's not for four because I've got three cross four. I don't have the fourth row here in this matrix so possibility is three rank might be three so what am i going to change so maximum possible rank is three so consider all three cross three minors minors so we have seen the co concept of minor so if i wanted to go for a minor now what what is this i have given it's four two and one four two one six three four two one zero what is this minor this minus minor is this four two one six three four Two one zero. This minor is the minor of order three cross three. So that means what I have to find out all the minors of the order three cross three, and I have to check the determinant of that matrix individually. 
So now it's possible for me to go three cross three matrix determinant. I've checked the matrix. It is not zero. It's, it is zero, right? Again, I have, I'm, I'm repeating the same thing in every video. Pause the video, get the things. Now, how many minors there would be of order three cross three? Of order three cross three that you have to understand first, right? Then, then you have to check for all of them to find out the rank, right? All of them. So I'm, I'm just dealing here. There are different methods to find out the rank or deal with this type of example, right? But as I'm dealing here, I'm giving you here the concept of rank. Let me make you understand what exactly the rank is. So that most of the questions will be getting, I mean, you'll, uh, you'll solve very simple, very easily with the help of this rank concept or the definition of a rank. Then the, my next minor is 213-347-1110. So it's 213-347-101. Again, the rank is coming out to be zero. Next, next is also zero. Next is also zero. Again, check it, it on your own. Pause the video for a while. Then after that, after this getting the determinant zero, I've got all three cross three determinants or minus are zero. Uh, that is what I have written here. Minus are zero. So we have to consider three less than that one. So I have to consider all two cross two minors of this uh, matrix so that I have to check whether whether there is any two cross two minor which is non-zero. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that rank is order of highest order non-zero determinant. What is my highest possible is three. But I've checked all of them. All of them are coming out to be zero. Means the possibility of having the rank of this matrix as three is not there. It's not there. Possibility is not there. So I have to go three. After three, I have to go for two. I have to go for two. So I have to check all two cross two minors to get my rank here. Let us go for. So it's four, two, six, three. So if I'm saying it's four, two, six, three, this minor here, this minor, I'm getting it as zero. Let me go for this two, one, three, four, two, one, three, four. Yes, I'm getting it as five, which is non-zero. So now here onwards, so as soon as I'm getting my any minor of the order 2 cross 2, non-zero, it's not required for me to go and calculate rest of them. No need. No need at all. You have got 2 cross 2 minus, which is the minor is 5, which is non-zero. And therefore, I could directly declare that rank of capital A is 2. Rank of capital A is 2. That means I have to check all those minors. But as soon as I'm getting any one of them as my non-zero, at that point of time, I could say that the rank of this matrix is two. Okay, fine. Now, properties of a rank of a... Now, this properties plays very important role whenever we are dealing here with the rank kind of questions. And if you'll observe, uh, we will be... Uh, if you'll observe the question papers of all those days, the rank, the question based on the rank of a matrix are much more in number whenever we are dealing here with the topic as linear algebra. The rank of the matrix is the very important concept and all the properties are also very important. Let me just discuss it in, uh, in a very um, fast forward manner. So rank of a matrix is unique. Rank of a null matrix is always zero. Obviously, the rank of a null matrix is always zero because I don't have any highest order non-zero determinant there and therefore I'm getting the rank of this matrix null matrix is zero then every matrix has a rank yes will have a rank then if capital A is a matrix of order m cross n then rank of A is less than or equals to smaller of two of them or m or comma n smaller than now come back and that is why I have kept this question here so that I could explain you with this properties. Now, if you'll observe here in this example, the last example, my the order of this this matrix is three cross four, three cross four. So it's M and N. M is three, N is four. What is the rank? We have got it in this example. We have got the rank as two, which is smaller than three as well as four. Smaller of two of them, M or N. Smaller of two of them right fine the next is if rank of a is equals to small n then every minor of order n plus 1 n plus 2 etc is 0 true in this example rank of a is 2 
and if we have observed we have seen the rank of the the minor of all the uh, minor of all 3 cross 3 minors are zeros so we have got zero here zero here zero here so all the minors greater than that small n they are have to be zero why because again the definition order of higher or highest order non zero determinant right okay then if capital a is a non singular matrix of order n cross n then the rank of capital a is 3 obviously order of highest order non zero determinant if i'm getting this n is equals to say for 3 cross 3 3 cross 3 matrix right and if i'm checking the rank of capital a sorry determinant of capital a is equals to suppose i'm getting this rank of this determinant of a as suppose suppose for example as 4 which is non zero i'm just uh, giving an example of any hypothetical matrix so if this determinant of this a is equals to coming out to be as 4 which is non zero so at this point of time only i could so they say that the rank of capital a is equals to 3 because here i have got my rank highest order non zero determinant which is the order of matrix as 3 and therefore this is very important properties obviously and they are very obvious provided you should understand the concept of rank the definition of rank fine right? okay then the rank of i n is equals to n obviously because the rank of i and i n is what the identity matrix of order small n obviously it is equals to n if capital a is a matrix of order m cross n if every kth order minor k is less than m k is less than n is zero then rank of a is less than k same for this also you can just apply this thinking of this particular example this particular example the order was 3 cross 4 we have got the rank 4 then every kth order minor is 0 obviously fine okay then if capital a is a matrix of order m cross n if there is a minor of order this which is not 0 then rank of a is greater than equals to k rank of a is greater than equals to k again this follows with the same example just have a look have a thought in your mind this this all the properties could go you can relate it with this example itself if capital a is a non zero column matrix and capital b is non zero row matrix then rank of a into b is equals to 1 yes it is true let me just take you uh, uh, explain you with the random example capital a is 1 2 3 capital b is 4 minus 5 6 if I will multiply these two matrices, this uh, A dot P, that is A into P, I'm getting this matrix. 4 minus 5, 6, 8 minus 10, 12, 12 minus 15, 18. Now, if I will take the determinant of this matrix, I'm going to get the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix is non-zero. Then I'll go for 2 cross 2. Again, it will give me a non-zero. Then I have to go for 1 cross 1 and there I will get it as 1. This is one type of one way of dealing with the example. The another way is so if you'll observe here 4 minus 5, 6. Now just observe the second row, which is 8 minus 10, 12, which is twice of the first row. 4 twos are 8, minus 5 twos are 10, minus 10, 6 twos are 12. That means all those elements are two times of the previous. So that means what? The second row is in multiple of the first one right then go for the third one right the third one is 12 which is 4 3s are minus 15 is minus 5 3s are and then 6 18 6 3s are 18 that means again this this third row is in multiple of the first row so if i just do one transformation i'm going to get it here as the echelon form or echelon form and the rank of the echelon form or echelon form is nothing but the number of non zero rows and here i'm getting the last after just one transformation two actually two transformation but in one go i'm going to get the rank of this matrix is equals to 1 which is Okay, the rank of a matrix capital, uh, the matrix is greater than or equals to the rank of every submatrix. Yes. Then if capital A is any n road square matrix of rank n minus 1, then adjoint of A is not 0. If capital A is n road square matrix, 
that means this order of the matrix is n cross n uh, matrix of the rank n minus 1 then adjoint of a is not equals to 0 this is also true you can just easily check this but uh, this um, uh, this uh, properties with any particular examples i'm just listing it out wherever it's uh, it's uh, uh, important to stress out i'm just doing it rank of a transpose of a matrix is equal to the rank of original matrix this is also very true because the rank uh, depends on the number the elements whereas in the transpose we are just changing the position of the element but the rank will remain the same here the rank of a matrix does not change by pre or post multiplication with any non singular matrix yes this is also you can easily check that it's that rank of the matrix will not change after pre or post multiplication with any non singular matrix so these are nothing but the properties of the rank of a matrix i have just given you a fast forward uh, properties of this but the, all those properties from this uh, rank of a matrix are there in the link below the video you can just have a look i have given you the all other properties of, uh, related to the linear algebra which is the topic of um, uh, the gate examination or a TOEFL most of the and I have tried to cover the topics from the linear algebra in such a way that every branch student would have this topics common linear algebra would be common for these topics and that is why I have just tried to uh, form a, the, the intersection of all those things uh, there are few more properties. Uh, if capital uh, A is equals to minus of B, that is, they are the negations of each other, then the rank of A is equals to rank of B, and the rank of the product of two matrices cannot exceed either the rank of either of them. This is also uh, quite obvious, and this plays very important. This property plays very important role whenever you are actually solving the questions. You will come to know that the rank of sum of two matrices cannot exceed the sum of their ranks. Definitely. Elementary transformations do not change the rank of a matrix. As I've explained you in that A into uh, the rank of AB, the product is equal to column and a row matrix and the product and the rank of is equal to 1. That is, um, there, there I have talked about the echelon for or echelon form that there the matrix, the rank of the matrix will not change because of the elementary transformation. Similarly, pre and post multiplication of any uh, non-zero, non-singular matrix will not also change the rank of a matrix. So this is from the rank of the matrix, very important topic. And most of the um, most of the time, maximum number of questions would come from this topic. Thank you. Happy learning.